Dear students, I welcome you all. Today I am going to talk about life cycles in algae. As you know, algae is a diverse group of simple lower plants with tremendous morphological and structural uh, diversity. During course of growth and development, each alga passes through different morphological and cytological stages. The sequence of these uh, orderly morphological and cytological change constitutes its life cycle. Different algal species show different life cycle patterns. On the basis of number of distinct morphological phases, the algal life cycles are monophasic, diphasic and triphasic also known as monomorphic, diamorphic and trimorphic or monogenetic, digenetic and trigenetic types respectively. Based on the occurrence of cytological phases, the different kinds of life cycles in algae are haplontic, diplontic, diplohaplontic, haplobiontic and also diplobiontic. We will now discuss the life cycle types in algae one by one. First of all, we will take up the monogenetic life cycle which is also known as monomorphic or monophasic type. In this type of life cycle, there is only one morphologically uh, distinct generation which may be either sporophytic or gametophytic. Cytologically, this monogenetic type of life cycle may be haplontic or diplontic. When we talk about the haplontic life cycle, this type of life cycle is encountered in majority of chlorophyceae or green algae such as Chlamydomonas, Allothrix, Spirogyra and Udogonium. It is also found in some members of Rhodophyceae such as Bangia. In this type of life cycle, there is a single thalloid vegetative individual which is haploid and hence called as gametophytic plant. This haploid gametophytic phase is the dominant phase as it persists for a long period at the end of the growing season which is marked by the arrival of unfavorable conditions, this gametophytic plant starts reproducing sexually and produces gametes which may be iso or anisogametes. Once these gametes are formed, then these gametes they fuse to form the diploid zygote by a process which is called as fertilization. This zygote after its formation undergoes meiosis to produce four haploid cells or spores which develop into gametophytic individuals. The zygote is the only diploid stage in the life cycle and is very brief. Thus, the long dominant haploid gametophytic phase alternates with a brief zygotic or sporophytic diploid phase. This is not a true alternation of generation. This life cycle is characterized by a very long and dominant haploid gametophytic phase and a brief diploid zygotic phase. The cycle is also characterized by the occurrence of zygotic meiosis. When we talk of haplontic life cycle, this is best exemplified by uh, Udogonium. The gametophyte of Udogonium is a haploid filamentous multicellular structure with specialized cells called as uh, gametangia or specialized cells they act as gametangia. The male gametangium or the enthridium makes sperms while as the female gametangium or ugonium it forms the eggs. Then the sperms are released from the enthridium and they swim in water and, um, and ultimately they come closer to the ugonium and they get inserted into it. When they fertilize the egg, they form a zygote. The zygote is then liberated from the ugonium and it settles down, ultimately undergoes meiosis and forms haploid cells which give rise to the haploid, haploid gametophytic phase once again. This is how udogonium completes life cycle and how it exemplifies haplontic type of life cycle. The second type of monogenetic life cycle is the diplontic life cycle. The diplontic life cycle occurs predominantly in members of fucales and feophyceae, diatoms of bacillophyceae, siphonales and siphonochlidales of chlorophyceae. 
in this type of life cycle, the vegetative plant is uh, deployed. It is the dominant phase in the life cycle. It bears sex organs and produces gametes by meiosis. The gametes on fusion produce the diploid zygote which develops into the diploid individual. Since this life cycle involves the alternation of a long diploid phase with a brief haploid phase represented by gametes only, it is called as diplontic life cycle. Thus, this life cycle is characterized by the dominance of diploid phase and gametogenic meiosis which produces haploid gametes. Like haplontic life cycle, this life cycle does not exhibit true alternation of generation since there are no morphologically distinct sporophytic and gametophytic generations. The diplotic life cycle is best exemplified by sargassum. In sargassum, the thallus is diploid and sporophytic. It produces diploid male and female sex organs within specialized flask shaped conceptacles. In both these sex organs, reduction division or meiosis takes place, which results in the formation of haploid gametes. The gametes fuse to form the diploid zygote which then germinates or develops in the diploid thallus again completing the cycle. Thus, haploid phase in the life cycle of sargassum is represented only by gametes and the diploid phase is dominant. It remains there for a pretty long time. The second category of life cycles in LJ is diagenetic or diaphasic or dimorphic type. This type of life cycle involves two alternating morphologically and cytologically distinct individuals of sporophytic and gametophytic generations with diploid and haploid chromosome complements respectively. Here the diploid sporophyte produces uh, haploid spores by meiosis which on germination give rise to haploid gametophyte. The haploid gametophyte produces gametes which fuse to form diploid zygote which then directly develops into the diploid sporophyte. Since the two alternating morphological forms or generations are diploid and haploid and occur for almost equal durations during the life cycle, this type of life cycle is called as diplohaplontic life cycle. It represents a true alternation of generation because there is alternation between a sporophytic individual with a gametophytic individual. This type of life cycle is exhibited by the members of Caletophorales, Ectocarpus and Dictyota of Phaeophyce and Ulva of Colorophyce and based on the morphology of the two alternating sporophytic and gametophytic individuals or generations, diplohaplontic life cycle is of two types. First, isomorphic or homologous type of life cycle. Second is heteromorphic or heterologous type of a life cycle. The diplohaplontic life cycle in which alternating diploid sporophytic and haploid gametophytic individuals are morphologically similar or identical is called as isomorphic or homologous diplohaplontic life cycle. This type of life cycle is found in the members of Phaeophyce and Chlorophyce such as Ectocarpus, Dictyota, Ulva and Chlorophora where the diploid sporophyte is identical to the haploid gametophyte. Second is heteromorphic or heterologous diplohaplontic life cycle. It is that type of diplohaplontic life cycle in which the two alternating diploid and haploid individuals occurring in life cycle are morphologically very dissimilar or different. In this type of life cycle, either this gametophyte or the sporophyte is more developed or complex in structure. For example, in laminaria, the sporophyte is highly developed than the gametophyte while as in cutleria, the gametophyte is having an elaborate development than the sporophyte. The third and uh, last category of life cycles which are found in LJ is the trigenetic or triphasic or trimorphic type. This type of life cycle is characterized by the occurrence of three morphologically different types of individuals or phases during the life cycle, hence the name trimorphic or triphasic or trigenetic type of life cycle. This type of life cycle is found in the members of 
rhodophyce or red algae and phaophyce or also called as brown algae here the haploid or diploid phases may occur twice in the life cycle if the haploid phase occurs twice it is called as haplobiontic life cycle and if diploid phase occurs twice the cycle is called as diplobiontic haplobiontic life cycle in haplobiontic life cycle the haploid phase occurs twice in the life cycle which alternates with a single diploid zygotic phase the haploid phase is represented by the gametophyte proper and the carposporophyte this type of life cycle is found in many members of red algae such as batrachospermum and nemelion it is also found in porphyra and other members of bangoidi of brown algae in this type of life cycle the gametophyte bears gametes which fuse to form zygote the zygote undergoes meiosis to form haploid cells which unusually do not separate or behave as spores and instead of separating undergo repeated mitotic divisions to form somatic individuals comprising of many haploid filaments this haploid individual from initial meiotic and later mitotic divisions of zygote is called as carposporophyte the haploid carposporophyte is parasitic on the parent gametophyte which form the zygote later the terminal cells of this carposporophyte are transformed into sporangia called carposporangia with each carposporangium producing a haploid carpospore which on liberation develops into the gametophytic plant thus in haplobiontic life cycle zygote is the only diploid phase in the life cycle which alternates with two haploid phases the free living gametophyte and parasitic carposporophyte now the diplobiontic life cycle diplobiontic life cycle is also a triphasic or trimorphic type of life cycle here the diploid phase occurs twice in the life history which alternates with a single haploid phase this life cycle is well exemplified by polysiphonia here the gametophytes represent the haploid phase which produces gametes these gametes fuse to form a zygote the zygote formed after fertilization does not divide meiotically but in a state undergoes mitosis to form a filamentous diploid plant called as carposporophyte it remains attached parasitically to the parent gametophyte this carposporophyte later bears carposporangia with each carposporangium producing a diploid carpospore the carpospore on liberation it, it germinates and develops into a diploid free living tetrasporophyte the tetrasporophyte develops tetrasporangia in which meiosis or reduction division takes place and produces haploid tetraspores which give rise to the haploid gametophyte again the life cycle is thus completed the diplobiontic life cycle therefore involves three types of individuals haploid free living gametophyte diploid parasitic carposporophyte and diploid free living tetrasporophyte the two free living generations that is the gametophyte and the tetrasporophyte may be isomorphic that is morphologically similar or heteromorphic that is morphologically dissimilar in case of heteromorphic free living generations either gametophyte or the tetrasporophyte may be structurally complex or more developed now we know that there are five types of algal life cycles they are number one haplontic which is characterized by dominance of haploid phase and zygotic meiosis and then second diplontic which is characterized by dominance of diploid phase and gametogenic meiosis the third type of life cycle is diplo haplontic which is characterized by alternation of diploid sporophyte with haploid gametophyte fourth life cycle which we found or which we discussed in the today's topic was haplobiontic which is a triphasic cycle characterized by the occurrence of two haploid phases the last is the diplobiontic life cycle it is also an example of triphasic life cycle which is characterized by the occurrence of two diploid phases in the life cycle dear students with this we come to the conclusion of today's topic that was life cycles in algae i hope this might add to your knowledge and understanding of various types of life cycles in algae thank you